we're still planning to release models this year. Um, as with all launches, we're working through like the last minute issues that pop up. Big things are happening at Tesla and fast. While the company works out the final details before the official launch, a prototype of Tesla's highly anticipated budget EV, widely known as the Model 2, has already been spotted undergoing live tests in Fremont, California. This aligns with Elon Musk's bold vision to manufacture millions of low-cost electric vehicles by 2026. Priced around $10,179, Tesla plans to produce 1 to 2 million units per year, a move that could completely shake up the affordable car market and go head-to-head -head with traditional gas-powered vehicles. We're witnessing a real shift in the industry. Before we dive further, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you never miss out on the latest Tesla updates and EV breakthroughs. Why Tesla Chose Fremont for Model 2 Tesla's Fremont, California factory, has been selected as the starting point for Model 2's journey, and the reasoning behind this choice is solid. Originally acquired from a Toyota GM partnership in 2010, the Fremont plant has since rolled out over 2 million vehicles, including the Model S, Model X, Model 3, and Model Y. With a peak output of about 600,000 cars annually, it remains one of the most productive EV facilities in North America. But beyond its output, Fremont plays a critical role in testing and refining Tesla's latest innovations. With the Model 2 introducing the Gen 3 platform, a system focused on cutting costs and simplifying production, Fremont provides a stable testing environment before full-scale rollout at Giga Texas and Giga Mexico. The facility is already trialing advanced features like Giga Casting, fewer parts in the vehicle frame, and highly automated assembly lines. Strategically, Fremont also benefits from its proximity, only 30 minutes from Tesla's engineering HQ in Palo Alto, allowing fast communication between teams. This closeness helps with real-time updates, design tweaks, executive reviews, and early-stage quality control. Add to that an experienced workforce of over 20,000 employees well-versed in Tesla systems, and it becomes clear why Fremont was chosen. With existing infrastructure and supply chains in place, ramping up Model 2 production can happen quicker and more efficiently. Think Fremont was the right call? Drop a yes in the comments. Giga Texas and Giga Mexico, Tesla's global scale-up plan. Once Fremont finalizes and refines Model 2's production, Tesla plans to supercharge global output through two massive facilities, Giga Texas and Giga Mexico. Giga Texas, just outside Austin, is set to handle large-scale manufacturing for North America. Spanning more than 10 million square feet, it's already producing the Cybertruck and Model Y. It will also integrate Fremont-tested innovations like structural battery packs, gigacasting, and Tesla's unboxed vehicle assembly approach. Its central U.S. location allows it to deliver the Model 2 quickly and cost-effectively, especially to southern and midwestern markets. Further south, Giga Mexico, located in Santa Catarina near Monterey, will be Tesla's most cost-effective plant. With lower labor costs, around $4.50 per hour versus $27 per hour in the U.S., reduced overhead, and proximity to major railways and shipping routes, it's positioned as Tesla's global export hub. While Giga Texas will serve domestic needs, Giga Mexico will cater to Europe, Asia, and South America. Each plant has a distinct purpose. Fremont, R&D and early testing. Giga Texas, high-volume U.S. production. Giga Mexico, affordable global reach. Drone leak reveals Model 2 in action. Recent drone footage captured a camouflage prototype zipping around Tesla's Fremont facility. The black and white wrap, used to conceal design details, is typical of Tesla's pre-release testing. Observers notice the vehicle appears significantly smaller than a Model Y, likely around 140 to 150 inches long, suggesting a compact sedan class similar to a Toyota Corolla or Honda Civic. This would mark Tesla's first major push into the budget EV segment, targeting city drivers and entry-level buyers. The test car showed smooth and quiet performance, hinting that it's running on Tesla's Gen 3 platform. Analysts noted it's not a modified Model Y, 
differences in the frame, wheelbase, door placement, and ride height point to a completely new design. This little EV could be the one to challenge sub dash dollar 20 gas cars like the Nissan Versa or Mitsubishi Mirage, and it's likely to redefine the compact EV category. Which feature excites you most? 1. Compact size. 2. Gen 3 platform. 3. $10,179 price. For disrupting gas cars. Drop your pick in the comments. Gen 3 Platform, revolutionizing EV production. The Gen 3 Platform behind the Model 2 is more than a design update. It's a total shift in how electric vehicles are made. Key innovations include aluminum ion batteries. These next gen batteries charge in under 10 minutes in lab settings, last over 3,000 full cycles, and are safer and easier to source than lithium alternatives. Gigacasting. Replacing hundreds of small metal parts with just a few large castings simplifies production, reduces labor, and speeds up assembly. Full automation. Tesla's new factories will be robotics first, with human workers primarily focused on oversight and quality control. Tesla aims to cut manufacturing costs by as much as 50% while boosting output and consistency. Expect a stripped-down interior that matches Tesla's minimalist style. Think single center touchscreen, minimal physical buttons, and design optimized for robotic assembly. Model 2 is also likely to include Tesla's basic autopilot and possibly a lighter version of full self-driving, making advanced driving tech more accessible than ever before. Will tax credits impact your decision? Federal EV tax credits are shifting. New legislation may limit the $7,500 tax break to vehicles made entirely in the U.S. using domestic components. That could exclude cars built at Giga Mexico, affecting Model 2's pricing for some buyers. However, vehicles produced at Fremont and Giga Texas are expected to still qualify under the new rules, making early orders especially valuable. If pre-orders begin in December 2025, early customers might secure the lowest price, eligibility for the full tax credit, priority delivery in early 2026. Would a $7,500 tax credit or Tesla's tech drive your decision to buy? Comment price, if incentives matter more, or tech, if innovation is the deal maker. Tesla's Model 2 could reshape the global EV landscape, affordable, innovative, and built to scale. Are you ready to take the leap? Subscribe to Motivation with JKK and hit the bell to stay ahead of Tesla's announcements and Model 2 pre-order news.